There is a distinct aspect that separates an OH1 from an OH2. OH1 is the offensive. She is the no holds barred without a doubt, hands down, the power, the gun, the grenade, the bazooka. She brings the boom, boom baby. baby. While the OH is bringing the boom, the O2 is the quiet storm. She is the defense, which means she must, and I mean she has to be strong in serve, receive, and digging, and attacking, point blank, period. This O2 brings the finesse, the sense of calm, cool, collected, and control, and consistency to the game. The O2 is typically the six rotation outside, while the O1 is typically subbed out and at the serve. Although as volleyball continues to gain traction, more and more coaches are looking for both the OHs to remain in the game as six rotation players. Now, some of you might ask or might be thinking, or shoot, you just don't even know what the one and the two behind the OH mean, or any of the positions for that matter. Those numbers actually have a meaning. They represent how many zones the player is from the setter. Some also say that the OH one doesn't really have to be as strong of a passer as the O2. But again, the game is getting further and further away from that mindset. Having both outside hitters with the ability to pass and play defense and serve receive really cuts down on the amount of substitutions a team has to make throughout a game.